tell yourself there is a way. All thoughts are magnetic. It's believing there is a way that is important. When you believe there is a way, you automatically convert negative energy into positive energy. You see in any situation what you expect to see. See the good side and conquer defeat. All things do work together for good if you'll just develop clear vision. The difference between success and failure is found in one's attitudes towards setbacks, handicaps, discouragements, and other disappointing situations. When you lose, learn, and then go on to win next time. Stop blaming luck. Research every setback. Find out what went wrong. Blaming luck never got anyone where he wanted to go. Remember, there is a good side in every situation. Find it. A goal is an objective, a purpose. A goal is more than a dream. It's a dream being acted upon. Nothing happens, no forward steps are taken, until a goal is established. Without goals, individuals just wander through life. Goals are as essential to success as air is to life. No one ever stumbles into success without a goal. No one ever lives without air. Get a clear fix on where you want to go. The important thing is not where you were or where you are, but where you want to get. The only way to get full power, to develop full go force, is to do what you want to do. Surrender to desire and gain energy, enthusiasm, mental zip, and even better health. It's never too late to let desire take over. Energy increases, multiplies, when you set a desired goal and resolve to work toward that goal. When you surrender yourself to your desires, when you let yourself become obsessed with a goal, you receive the physical power, energy, and enthusiasm needed to accomplish your goal. The most amazing thing about a deeply entrenched goal is that it keeps you on course to reach your target. When you surrender to your goal, the goal works itself into your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is always in balance. Your conscious mind is not, unless it is in tune with what your subconscious mind is thinking. Without full cooperation from the subconscious mind, a person is hesitant, confused, indecisive. With your goal absorbed into your subconscious mind, you react the right way automatically. The conscious mind is free for clear, straight thinking. The goal constantly speaks. I am the image you want to make real. Here is what you must do to make me real. Set goals to get things done. Act on your ideas and gain mind tranquility. The person determined to achieve maximum success learns the principle that progress is made one step at a time. Every big accomplishment is a series of little accomplishments. Cross bridges when you come to them. Many things determine how long you will live. Weight, heredity, diet, psychic tension, 
personal habits. The quickest way to the end is to retire and do nothing. Every human being must keep an interest in life just to keep living. Is hope enough? Why not take action to support your hope? Action cures fear. Hope is a start, but hope needs action to win victories. Next time you experience big fear or little fear, steady yourself. Then search for an answer to this question. What kind of action can I take to conquer my fear? Isolate your fear. Then take appropriate action. Build confidence and destroy fear. Yes, fear is real, and we must recognize it exists before we can conquer it. Worry, tension, embarrassment, panic, all stem from mismanaged negative imagination. The old, it's only in your mind treatment presumes fear doesn't really exist, but it does. Fear is real. Fear is success enemy number one. Fear stops people from capitalizing on opportunity. Fear wears down physical vitality. Fear closes your mouth when you want to speak. Truly, fear is a powerful force. In one way or another, fear prevents people from getting what they want from life. Condition yourself with this fact. All confidence is acquired, developed. No one is born with confidence. Those people you know who radiate confidence, who have conquered worry, who are at ease everywhere and all the time, acquired their confidence, every bit of it. You can too. Every day, thousands of people bury good ideas because they are afraid to act on them. And afterward, the ghosts of those ideas come back to haunt them. No person is all good and no person is all bad. The perfect person just doesn't exist. If we let our thinking go uncontrolled, we can find much to dislike in almost anyone. If we manage our thinking properly, if we think right toward people, we can find many qualities to like and admire in the same person. View it this way. Your mind is a mental broadcasting station. This broadcasting system transmits messages to you on two equally powerful channels. Channel P, positive, and channel N, negative. Bear in mind that the longer you stay tuned to either channel P or channel N, the more interested you become and the harder it is to switch channels. This is true because one thought, positive or negative, sets off a whole chain reaction of similar thought. You own it, so manage your thought broadcasting station. When your thoughts turn to people, make channel P your listening habit. If channel N cuts in, say stop, then switch channels. To make the switch, all you must do is think of one positive quality about the individual. In true chain reaction style, this one thought will lead to another and another, and you will be glad. When you are alone, you and only you can decide whether you will listen to channel P or channel N. But when you are talking with someone else, that person has a measure of control over how you think. 
We must remember that most people do not understand the concepts of thinking right toward people. Thoughts breed like thoughts. There is real danger that if you listen to negative comments about another person, you too will go negative toward that person. These things backfire. Boomerang. Make a forceful promise to yourself. Refuse to let others prejudice your thinking. Stay tuned to Channel P. Someone once said that the saddest words of tongue or pen are these. It might have been. Give your ideas value by acting on them, regardless of how good the idea. Unless you do something with it, you gain nothing. Where there's a will, there's always a way.